Good day guys. Um, in today's videos, we're going to look at how to um, install Wingui. Um, some of the times when your laptop is sent to SA for re-image or you get a new laptop, Wingui might not be working and you are forced to use um, HTML. Yes, so this video is going to be short and it's, going to, it's not going to take much time because this is not something with GME. This is something that um, Estes fails to tell uh, everybody that has a computer account to go to these, these places to install stuff. You can install, um, as you can see, I have so many things installed. I have Google Chrome, I have Firefox installed, I have everything installed on, on, on my system. Firefox is right there. So there are so many things you can install. So that's what we're going to do today. And without wasting much time, let's get into it. I know this thing is going to happen, but let's get into it. Okay. So first of all, you need to go to um, Software Center. You can just click, use the Windows button or click right there, then type in Software Center. So when you go to Software Center, the first time I'm going to do it, I'm going to get an error. Don't worry about it. Uh, something fucked that with my system. Something, um, sorry, something caused my system to um, misbehave. So don't worry about it. I'll just close it and open it again. So now these are all the um, apps that you can install, right? These are all the apps you can install. You can install Microsoft Office, you can install Firefox, you can install Google Chrome. There are no updates at the moment. So these are all applications in um, a software center you can install. So that's the sub GUI, that's the wing GUI. Mine is already installed. So what you can do is when you go to the application and you see the SAP right there, when you see the SAP right there, when you see the SAP GUI and it's not installed, as you can see it's installed in mine and yours is not installed, all you have to do is to click on it and install it. It's simple like that. So I'm going to do an installation with one of the items and, see, and for you to see how it works. It's going to take a few, time, a few minutes before it installs, so we're going to do that. So I'm trying to look for any item that has not installed on my system yet, then I will install it. So as you can see, that item right there was not installed on my, that application wasn't installed on my system, so I'm not doing it at the moment we cannot um at microsoft office 360 is already installed so i don't need to do it again so when you are running it that's how it looks like so this is something internal on the um the headline that you use with just um in this uh in the army anything Apart from these apps that you try to install in the system, you wouldn't have access to, to do it. These are stuff that, uh, uh, what do we call it? the army has approved for you to install on your system. So basically that's it. This video is not going to be long. So, when, for, so after installing your sub GUI, all you need to do is go back, go to your GCSS um, army web page, homepage, then click on Wingui and you see that it will just um, open up for you to use. So guys, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share to the other GC um, Night Yankee.
Plex or let's say Commanders or Exos or anybody that uses GCSS and wants to use Wingui can install their Wingui and use it. Thank you.